Hello YouTube and Facebook followers. I wanted to share with you my 500 gallon aquascape. I've shared with you other aspects of this install in other videos. However, this video is going to focus more or less exclusively on the aquascape, which I have named the Lake Malawi Reef and Rock Wall. As I've mentioned before this install, it is a 660 gallon system with the sump and 50 gallon aquaponic grow bed. I'm going through a phase of my aquarium keeping at this time where I'm working on having, at least striving for, professional quality aquascapes in all my tanks. And I've tried learning from the pros. The first aquascape I completed was an Amazon biotype for which I shared a video recently on my channel. I will put a link at the bottom if you'd like to take a look at it. By the way, I love driftwood and have done research and verified that there is driftwood in Lake Malawi. And in fact, there are cichlid species in Lake Malawi that need driftwood to support their feeding habits. With that, I would like to share with you first are the design goals I set for my aquascape. I wanted a Lake Malawi reef with a rock wall as a backdrop. I wanted dark background colors so the colors popped on the fish. I want mixed large haps including predator species. I wanted no hard visible tank hardware like plumbing heaters, overflow boxes, etc. I wanted to engineer out the typical problems with 3D uh, backgrounds such as detritus, fish getting stuck, and so on. I wanted a totally natural rockscape on the bottom with driftwood. And I wanted, and this was important, to eliminate abrasive surfaces and to prevent fish eye and body injuries. And lastly, I wanted uh, 80% reduction in maintenance by no gravel cleaning and a few other things that I've talked about. Now I'm going to zoom in and uh, look at some of the, uh, the actual things I did, starting off with the 3D hardscape background. What it is a flat panel, 3D appearance. It's only a couple inches thick with no spaces for fish to get stuck and die or detritus to collect. It lies flat against the back panel and is secured tightly to the back. One note, after three months, the dark colors on the background had bleached out. This was a disappointment. However, I have restored much of the color by having colored LED lights above the water line in the back of the tank. I blacked out the side panels to keep out light from the windows and improve the look and feel of the tank. I put in place a matching rockscape bottom mat with sand and uh, rocks. These also have bleached too, but they're not as noticeable as the background. I've got a hidden 250 gallon per hour power head that sweeps the bottom of detritus and into the exterior overflow boxes. I've got two pieces of uh, what I consider to be very attractive driftwood. I collected both in Arizona in a reservoir that is littered with outstanding driftwood species when uh, late in the summer when the water level is low. Uh, the piece on the right is climbing over the rocks and the second piece uh, in the tank, which uh, is on the left side of the aquarium, has the, uh, we'll get there in a second, has the appearance of an ancient uh, tree trunk. So let's take a little more view on the uh, the crawling piece on the bottom of the tank. We'll move over and uh, zoom in on the, the uh, ancient tree trunk, uh, simulated ancient tree trunk piece of uh, driftwood on the left side. Uh, I've also have camouflaged return lines at least to the extent possible. There's four of them. These are the only plumbing items in the tank and they're barely visible. 
And lastly, I have seven, you can see one here, bristle nose placos to keep the rock scape and the driftwood clean of any algae. So really the only maintenance I have in the tank is uh, I've got a magnetic cleaner and once a week I clean the glass and of course uh, water changes which I have uh, pretty much uh, automated and uh, I have a separate uh, video on that topic if you want to take, take a look at it. So in summary, what are the uh, key requirements for this aquascape? For obviously a sump that contains the heaters and the other tank plumbing, a significant investment in hardscape background, rocks and bottom mats. Uh, I have exterior overflow boxes so that there are no unsightly in tank acrylic columns. Of course, suspended LED lighting and LED lighting in the back to accentuate the tank color. And I got rid of the abrasive rocks such as lava, Texas holy rock, and lace, lace rock. So in closing, I hope you enjoyed seeing my second completed aquascape, a Lake Malawi reef with a rock wall. I'm working on my 340 gallon aquascape next and hope to share with you that build in the near future. Tell me what you think. Please subscribe, comment, and rate my video. Thank you.